Hey everybody, it's Magic Prepper, and today we're going to talk about the Sig Sauer P365 Mini Wing Inside of the Waistband Everyday Carry Holster, which is way too many words for one holster, but I do have it on right now at the 4 o'clock position. I'm wearing a light colored shirt so I can demonstrate whether or not it conceals well. As you can see, I think it does a pretty good job. We've got the 365 right here inside the holster currently. And we're going to go ahead and talk about a few things about the In the Waistband Mini Wing Holster that Sig Sawyer and Black Point Tactical actually collaborated on. Uh, I'll tell you about the different configurations you can actually set it up in for different styles of carry. And we're also going to talk about whether or not it's comfortable and if it's a legit piece of everyday carry gear. Okay, so here we have the SIG P365 mini wing inside the waistband holster. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys exactly what you should expect if you buy one of these. It comes in this packaging. It is pretty much the exact packaging that Black Point Tactical uses for their other holsters, except for it's white and it's in the SIG logoed box. You turn it over, there's some additional accessories here, and most of them are only available from Black Point Tactical. So one thing that surprised me a little bit about this holster was that it's all that this box comes with. There isn't any additional hardware, there's no clips, there's no paddle attachment or any of that kind of stuff that you find with some other holsters out there, which is totally fine because you know they sold you what they said they're selling you. But I am used to maybe getting at least some additional screws or something in most other holsters, so it threw me off just a little bit. Now this is the exact configuration the holster comes in. It comes with the wings here mounted behind the Kydex. Um, it has the cant set to the standard cant that they sell the holster with. And then um, it does have the SIG logo here on the front. It's got the Black Point Tactical logo here on the back. I do like the two-tone aspect. Black Point Tactical offers tons of different color options for you if you ever want to get a holster from them. And it has the mini wings that are nice and flexible, but thick enough and durable enough feeling that I feel like they'll hold up over time. So definitely a nice holster. I'll go ahead and insert the SIG P365 into the holster here for you, just so you can kind of see what it looks like. It has an amazing retention. Clips right in. Perfect molding for the firearm, which you would expect from a holster that's made by the manufacturer. And easy to draw. Not a lot of force required, but enough retention where you feel very safe and secure with the firearm. Um, in this configuration, I just try to move this uh, clip down to the second hole here so that there's a little excess clip here hanging at the bottom, but it gives me a little bit more of an aggressive uh, cant, which then gives me a better draw and a better grip on the firearm when I do need to draw it. So I do like this configuration, probably the best for the holster, which is what it was designed for, so that only makes sense. But I will show you some other ways to configure it as well. And we'll go ahead and insert the three different magazines that the SIG P365 comes with and see whether or not they print and how well this holster conceals the firearm when worn at the four o'clock position it was designed for. All right, so right now I've got the mini wing inside the waistband holster at the four o'clock position. I'm starting with the 10 round magazine just to kind of show you how it prints. And then I'll move up to the extension magazine as well as the 12 round magazine. So right now you can probably kind of see where the firearm is, but it's pretty well hidden. Obviously it's right here, easily drawn, holster performs properly. And we'll go ahead and see what the other magazines look like. Okay, so now I'm wearing the holster in the same exact position. The only thing that has changed is that I inserted the 10 round extension magazine on the firearm. Um, I feel like it does show a little bit more protrusion headed towards the back. Um, it is nice having the extension on the grip. Um, as you can see, same position. The extension gives you a full purchase, which is definitely worth having. The only problem is you do sacrifice some concealment, at least in my opinion. I feel like you can see the protrusion right here, especially if I was to lift my arms up or something of that nature. So let's go ahead and move on to the 12 round magazine, and then we'll see exactly how all three different styles of magazines work in this position. Okay, so lastly, I've inserted the 12 round magazine into the firearm, and it does sacrifice some concealment. I feel that when I lift my arms up or if I twist it all or anything like that, it does show and does print a little bit more than I would like. It is, however, extremely nice to have the amount of purchase that the 12 round magazine gives you on the grip, as well as the additional rounds, bringing the total round count to 13 in a micro sized pistol, which is very impressive. So as you can see, the mini wing inside the waistband holster does a good job of concealing in the standard four o'clock position. Even with the 12 round magazine, I don't think it's so noticeable that someone on the street's gonna say immediately that I'm carrying a firearm. But 
I would be a little bit more comfortable with the 10 round extension magazine just because it eliminates a little extra on the back end and gives you a little bit more concealment, which at times can be very important. Okay, so I took the holster and I converted it to an appendix carry configuration. Um, what I did was I removed the leather mini wings on the sides of the holster, and then I took one and flipped it over, reversed on top of the kydex. Now the reason I do that is because this clip will be in the way of your grip if you actually try to attach it to the kydex the same way as this clip is attached. And at the same time, it gives it a little flexibility for being able to move around on your appendix, which is actually kind of nice. So um, I don't think it's the best appendix carry style holster you can get. I wish it had a lever or a claw on it to try to eliminate some of that printing that you get once in a while. Um, but for a holster that wasn't originally designed for this purpose, I think it actually did a pretty good job to be honest with you. Um, I'll go ahead and put the firearm in here. And now you can see what it looks like with the firearm. I think um, you can see it's a lot more minimal. Um, it doesn't have the wings or anything sticking out on the sides. So it gives you the ability to carry appendix without having the additional bulk and using the same holster you would use in the four o'clock position. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and insert the different magazines while wearing the holster in this configuration. And we can see if there's any difference in printing or anything like that. Okay, so now I've got the holster in the appendix carry configuration, which is generally one of the easiest ways to conceal a firearm. I will say that it does a good job at hiding the firearm right now. It's not overly uncomfortable, but when I do lift my arms up, you do start to see some printing. This holster doesn't have any kind of lever or a claw on it to give a little bit more leverage and hold that grip against your body. And right now I've got the 10 round magazine in, so probably the most concealable magazine that the firearm comes with. It does a good job of being able to unholster and reholster. It's not um, you know, easy to see, but I do think that in the appendix carry position, it's a little bit easier to hide things like the extended magazine as well as the 12 round magazine. So we'll go ahead and test those out and let you see what those look like as well. All right, so I've inserted the 10 round magazine with the extension on it. And as you can see, it doesn't really affect any printing or concealment for the firearm. Um, it's about the same amount that I got with the flush magazine. And that's what's nice about the appendix carry position. I mean, you can easily conceal a larger firearm or something with a more substantial grip. Um, as you can see, I've got it right here. The extension is nice. It gives you a full purchase on the grip. And then you can just insert the firearm back in the holster. Nice and easy. Uh, and we'll go ahead and see if the 12 rounder is the same way. All right, so I put the 12 round magazine in and obviously there's not much of a difference. It is appendix carry and like I said, easier to hide a larger grip than some of the other carry positions. Although I will say that three quarters of an inch does make a decent amount of difference to where if you were really worried about printing or being uh, fully you know, deep concealed, then you would definitely not want to run this magazine uh, when you have the option to run maybe the extension. Uh, it's just a little bit harder to conceal, so, uh, but no real difference obviously seen. And it's sitting right here, right where it was before. Nice full grip on that, almost uh, reminiscent of my SIG P320. And uh, we'll go ahead and just talk about the way the holster was configured in both positions, uh, what I like, uh, and then we'll kind of wrap this whole video up. All right, everybody, so hopefully all the information I just shared with you about the Sig Sauer P365 Everyday Carry Mini Wing inside of the waistband holster was helpful in making some decisions for you of whether or not it's purchasing the holster, not purchasing the holster, or just giving you some ideas about the holster's different configurations. Um, if you guys like these kind of videos, please comment below with whatever other holsters you guys prefer. Maybe there's some other brands out there, some other styles of holster that you guys like better than this Black Point Tactical and can give me some ideas of something that might be more comfortable or more functional. Obviously, I've said before I like crossbreed holsters, but I know they're not the only hybrid holster company out there. And I do like the idea of having a full Kydex shell. I feel like it has great retention while also being able to be reholstered really easily. So I might be moving in that direction, you never know. Uh, feel free to let me know what you think down below. Like, share, subscribe, all the things that helps us at the channel. I really appreciate everybody's support. I am carrying the firearm still currently, so I must feel like it's relatively comfortable. And one thing I didn't mention before is that the clips on this holster are plastic. So you can upgrade to some steel ones from Black Point Tactical for $10. But I do think that some people will be turned off by that. I understand there's a minimalist concept here and it's trying to be lightweight and it accomplishes that mission at least. But overall, very comfortable holster, easy to get a grip on the firearm. And it's something I'm probably gonna be wearing quite a bit. Just so you guys know, if you ever wanna contact me or ask me any questions directly, go to magicprepper.com. I got a contact form there and you can find all my videos and some blog posts and stuff like that there too. 
Without anything else to say, that's going to be it for Magic Round.